Hey guys, this is Kyra Wright Chip, and as you can see, I have makeup on my face, and that is because it's the weekend, but it is time to take it off. And how am I going to take it off? I'm going to show you guys with my night routine. So first, I just take a face towel and put it in some warm water, and then I just take it and just wipe it all over my face. Now, I know you guys are probably like, wait, you don't use any removers or anything that help take the makeup off? I usually don't use removers. I usually use Vaseline. That's like a little trick that I use instead of using makeup removers because that's much cheaper. And you can just rub Vaseline. It might be messy, but it's cheaper. But because my face gets so oily, I usually just can wipe my makeup off straight off with a towel because my face is so oily. I can just, my makeup just slides off. So I don't usually have to even use anything. So that's what you see me doing right there. And I'm going over my face a lot because I don't want any excess makeup left in my face as I'm cleaning it because then it'll penetrate into my pores and then that makes bumps and pimples and we don't want that. We don't want that. Puberty was a horrible thing for a lot of us so we were not trying to revert. So now my face is clean. Woohoo. So now what I'm going to do is go in with my cleansers and I use my CeraVe hydrating cleanser just like in the morning routine. That is my go-to number one cleanser for my face and I use it about two and a half pumps of it yeah it's a lot but trust me it's needed so now I'm just going to speed this up and you guys can see how I just massage this into my face and my neck and you guys have to remember you cannot neglect your neck Ooh, that rhymes don't neglect your neck anyways yeah your neck is important so you want to make sure that's clean as well so I just massage that into my face all right now I'm going to take my CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion and I'm going to put about 4 to 5 pumps of that and rub that on top of the cleanser. And I explained to you guys in the morning routine why I just put something right on top of the cleanser and I don't wash it off. And as you can see, what I was showing you guys is usually my makeup stains around my eyes. So I usually have to go back over them a second time and get that out. Alright, now time to brush my teeth. So now... I am brushing my teeth using the Colgate Optic White Toothpaste. And I'm going to speed this up for y'all because once again, y'all don't want to sit here for two or three minutes and watch me brush my teeth. So yeah, I'm just going to brush my teeth. Yep, 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 yep. Alright. Now, I am done brushing my teeth. Oh, wait. Just about. Hold on. Come on, Karen. Just about. Almost there. Come on. God, dang it, how much time did I take? Uh, come on. Now this is bothering me. I know, I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't realize that I had filmed this much of me brushing my teeth, but, you know. All right, now I'm done. So, now I'm going to floss. This is just a little cheap $1 floss. I mean, hey, it does a trick. So, I'm just going to floss my teeth really quickly. And this is also all of it sped up, you guys, because I know that's probably tedious to watch me do all that. So I'm going to speed all that up. And I don't have to explain to y'all what I'm doing. Y'all know how to floss your teeth. So, yeah, we can just sit here and admire me flossing my teeth. It's beautiful, isn't it? Excellent. Keep those teeth clean. You don't want butter. No, 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 no. You don't want butter, and you don't want plaque in between your teeth. So that's what we do this for. All right, I'm getting, yeah, it might look strange from your point of view because it looks like I'm just digging into my mouth, but yeah. All right, now I'm done with that. Now I'm going to wash and rinse my mouth with this little cheap, once again, $1 mouthwash, close up, and cinnamon flavored. And I just take it right into my mouth because it's mine. Some of y'all may be like, Ugh, why don't you just put it in the cap? It's mine, so I'm going to put it to my mouth. And, hey, I'm dancing. This is because, you guys, usually I... I'm a music junkie, so. Watch me whip, kill it. Now watch me nay nay. Okay. Now watch me whip, whip. Watch me nay nay. Why me do it? Now watch me whip, kill it. Watch me nay nay. Okay. Hey, I was jamming. Hey, I was doing my thing, but I'm getting ready to go take a shower, and I will be right back. All right, now it is time for me to go take a shower. I will be back. Now I just came back from taking a shower, and I went and put on my clothes. Now I usually I put it on like gym clothes. Because, I don't know, that's comfortable for me. Basketball clothes. So right now, I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol and put it in my hand. And rub that on my armpits. And I do that to prevent 
um, odor during the night and to prevent perspiration and it does work so then after I do that let's see what am I gonna do next ah that's right it's time for me to tie up my hair no Ooh, Lord, this is tedious because I have box braids and they're long and they're pretty large so what I'm going to do is I put on one bonnet and that's just to kind of cover up the base and to cover up my scalp and all that and then I take a second bonnet and that's what I wrap up all the rest of my hair that's hanging and put it under there and I know you guys are probably like how do you get all that big hair into that trust me it I do do it I force it in there because I got to make sure that my hair stays fresh so I force it and yeah I'm leaning my head over that so my hair will stay in that position and it won't fall back so this is how I get it in there I hold my head over then I take the bonnet and bring it in from the back and that kind of seals it in from the back and then I just take the hair and wrap it up under my bonnet and I just push it in there shove it in there because it is a lot of hair so you do have to push it in there make sure it gets in there and it does look funny after I push it in there because it just looks like a big hive on my head but hey you gotta do what you gotta do to keep that hair right so I'm just making sure that it's all the way tucked in. I don't like any pieces hanging out. I make sure it's all the way tucked in where I can't see any hair coming out of there. So that's what I'm doing there. And I got it all in. So you guys see from the back, it's all in there. Bam. Now, I use a scarf and I tie it around and that secures both bonnets so it doesn't come off during the night. Cause you know good and well, this would not stay during the night with the way I sleep and tossing and turning, it won't stay. So I take a bonnet not a bonnet oh lord help me take a scarf and tie it around both bonnets and that secures them and keeps them both in place during the night and that's what i'm doing i'm just tying it from the back all right i got it nice and tight and then i take it and pull it over my ears because i don't like my ears to be smushed during the night and to be covered so i just push it over my ears and now i am done so make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace on the streets. And don't forget to check out my peeps. Deuce.